Hello, my name is Mark Willis and I'm the pastor for Merriam Christian Church. We're coming to you in the middle of your week with just a short five minute devotion. Five minutes where you can pause your day, dwell in God's word for a moment, spend some time in prayer, and then re-engage with the responsibilities and the activities of your day. So what I'd like to ask you to do is just take a moment, wherever you're at right now, lay down whatever it is you've been working on or whatever has been taking up your attention, and let's just relax together for a moment and enter into a time of prayerful meditation. If possible, find a comfortable seat that you can sit in with your feet on the floor, maybe your hands on your legs or perhaps on the table in front of you. Or if you want, lay down on the couch or on a bed and maybe just place your hands on your stomach as you lay there. And what we want to do at first is just concentrate on our breathing for a moment. The day has been busy and full of this and that, and sometimes that, that causes us to not really focus on deep cleansing breaths from God, breaths that can fill us with that spirit and that life. So let's take a moment and just focus on our breath, taking a nice breath in through your nose and letting it out through your mouth. And do that again. Feel that life-giving breath come in and fill your lungs. Feel it bringing life and nutrients and energy to your body. And as we exhale, let's just Exhale all of the negativity, and the difficulty, and the struggle that we've had today. Let's just blow that out and get it away from ourselves for a moment. Feel your body beginning to relax. And as you do, as you keep taking those nice breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, hear a word of God for your day from Psalm 74. O oh God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you acquired long ago which you redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion where you came to dwell. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared within your holy place. They set up their emblems there. At the upper entrance they hacked the wooden trellis with axes and then with hatchets and hammers. They smashed all its carved work. They set your sanctuary on fire. They desecrated the dwelling place of your name, bringing it to the ground. They said to themselves, we will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our emblems. There is no longer any prophet. And there is no one among us who knows how long, how long, O oh God, is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your hand in your bosom? Yet God, my King, is from of old, working salvation in the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him his food for the creatures of the wilderness. You cut openings for springs and torrents. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day. Yours is also the night. You established the luminaries and the sun. 
You have fixed all the bounds of the earth. You made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild animals. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the haunts of violence. Do not let the downtrodden be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God, plead your cause. As we keep taking a few deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth, let's take a moment to go to God in prayer. Most gracious God, oftentimes in the middle of our week when we have strayed far from Sunday morning, we begin to feel separated from you. We begin to feel put upon by this world. We begin to feel ostracized and alone. But Lord, we are never alone. You are always with us, always within us, always loving us, always forgiving us. Lord, remind us that you are with us in our darkest moments. Remind us that you never leave us. Remind us that we are yours and you are ours forever. We praise and thank you this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's take a couple more nice breaths. And as we do, let's re-engage with the world around us and get back to what the day holds. Thank you for taking this moment to pause your day, to spend a moment in God's Word together. Go forth now and be blessed. God bless and stay safe.